Hi guys, it's Joe. I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I created my tilde mason jar tag and it is using the image tilde with lace pants and she looks like this. Hopefully it will focus or not. And that's the size of her. I have a Copic video tutorial on this and um, I'll put the link in the description box below and this is what she ended up looking like and I uh, cut her out with a small oval spellbinders die so that is the image I'm using and the mason jar um, shape is from the canning jars Ooh, it's not focusing canning jars 3d die from Sizzix and instead of using the small one I used the large one and I only used the large die I did not use the matching lid or anything like that and again I used the cor corrugated cardboard um, card from recollection so that is what it looks like I really like the texture and just I like it a lot and I already stamped created by so that I'll sign it when I'm done so that is the base and then I just got some trim here, like a seafoam mint green. And then I have the uh, tag loop here all ready to go. And let me just flip this over. I'm going to place it right here. Um, let me get my glue gun. And then create the loop and then glue the other end. Okay, so that is the tag loop there. And then I'm going to get the trim and glue it around the lid like this and just make sure I'm, I trim it. That's okay that the um, ends are in the front because it's going to be covered by my embellishments anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and just run a line of glue there. Oh, I should have thought about this first. Okay. Okay, so that is what I have so far. Okay, and then to cover this um, little seam here, I'm going to use my uh, bow and mustache punch from EK Success. And there's like a little glare there, but that's what it looks like. And all I did, I took some vellum and I embossed it with my Cuddlebug Swiss Dots so I can get a texture on the bow and I'll just go ahead and punch it out and I don't mind getting the mustache because I think that's cute too I could use that for another project if I can come off okay so that's what it looks like and then I'm going to get my Martha Stewart leaf punch here and just punch out this thing always gets stuck punch out two leaves oh you just saw my pink robe <laughs> okay and then for the center I am going to use this pink uh, rosette, I'm um, pink rosette, pink rose from I Am Roses, and I'm, I kept the stem, and I'm just gonna curl it with my little brush. Zoom in a little bit. So basically, I'm putting the base of the uh, bow on top of that, and let me just put some hot glue there. that 
and then I'm going to glue the leaves down just to one side okay and then the rolls on top So it looks like this. Hope it dries straight. Okay, and then I'm going to start layering my um, elements on the bottom. For the bottom, I have like a little fishtail banner using dictionary paper, and I used my two inch banner punch. And I think this is from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby uh, Paper Studio, the Paper Studio but it's just a fishtail banner punch and you don't need this punch you can definitely just cut it out but it's so much easier okay so I'm just going to lay this on the bottom like that so let me just get my glue here Okay, and then I have some cheesecloth right here that I just cut to size to fit the tag this way. I'm just going to glue that. Okay, and then my image. I'm going to uh, place a pot dot on the back just a square foam foam square on the back here and just to be extra safe it doesn't pop out I added more glue and she's just going to go like like right there Okay, now for flowers, I just kept it really simple. I'm using this flower right here, and this is a R40 from I Am Roses. I kept a stem, and then again, just curling it with my paintbrush. And I'll lay that in the center. Okay, and then the two um, accenting flowers on each side are going to be these pastel, I think sea foam, like a mint green color. Then let me curl the stems. 